Hello, how are you guys? Um, I want to bring to your attention because today days we have so much scientific evidence a lot all over the world which you could go into PubMed just google it and you'll see and all this is in regards to cancer there are many approach that we are not really going or we're not following the most let's say organic approach like I don't want to give you something that it may kill cancer cells but it will definitely kill all your good cells and your immune system. I know that there is uh, oncologists and in medicines today uh, there is a theory of the somatic gene or genetic theory in which cancer is practically caused by genetic mutation on, on tissue cells. I will respect that opinion. You do your own judgment as you look for information. But I will tell you that the heart itself, the heart, it has, the heart's tissue are known as myocyte cells. Have you heard anyone having a cancer on myocyte cell? I doubt it. Have you heard anybody having a cancer on brain cell, on neurons, on nerve fibers? I doubt it. And why is that? Well, that is because they lack of something that we call <clears throat> fermentation. Fermentation is a way of producing energy in each of our body cells. And who produce those energy, that machinery is called mitochondria. So when the mitochondria is not working efficiently, we have no energy, ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Well, it happens to be that the fool the driving gasoline of every single cancer cell comes from sugar. Well, actually, sugar is glucose and fructose. Glucose, your liver, absorbs 20%. Uh, take it apart, you know, storage. But the, the other 80%, which has all fructose, will be flowing all through your body system and each body tissue. And it happens to be that lactic acid, glutamine, succinic acid, fructose are the driven gasoline or force of each cancer cell. Not only that, that also damage the mitochondria. So when mitochondria are damaged, cancer cell growth. And all disease that you could possibly think about is due to metabolic syndrome, is due to what we know as a cellular mitochondrial dysfunction. The approach that we get is not really good. We know that the, the environment plays a big role because of all the toxicity that we have in the environment, in our nutrients in metals or heavy metals like lead, like gadolinia, like mercury, like aluminum, like arsenic, like, uh, oh my God, there are so many right now that they don't come to my top of the head right now. But we know that every cancer cell survives in an acidic environment. We know that. So if I know that our cells, cancer cells, dry in an acidic fuel, let's block that out. And by oxygenation, by providing good oxygen to our body cells, that will revert the acidity. One, two, by removing these metals, all these heavy metals, there are things that we could use to evade to take away from our body cells all these metals. Microplastic, 
Do you know that we consume so much microplastic in the water that you and I drink in bottles that within a year you have the equivalent of a credit card just in plastic, in microplastic? So we, are, we understand that by we uh, helping our endogenous system, something that God, the Creator, gave us to fight these free radicals, these reactive oxygen species, which we know is the number one causes also of cancer and mitochondrial dysfunction or metabolic syndrome for diabetic, for stroke patient, for heart attack patient, for cardiovascular diseases, for glaucoma, for cataracts, for hypertension, for diabetes, for fatty liver disease, for breast cancer, ovary cysts. That's not even talking about the deficiency that almost everybody has in iodine. You go to the doctor and you look for an iodine test and when the test result comes it will tell you that that iodine marker it will tell you falsely that that iodine level is within normal limits what they don't tell you is that the references that we have for iodine level is based on more than 100 years ago in which there was a time that the united states population was uh, driven or having a lot of goiters in large size. See you. Subscribe. Call me. Write me. See you soon.